because you don't have the applause, you don't have the room with the sound, you you yeah. don't have all these things we're used to. You just have to plow forward and assume, believe you're nailing it, right? Right. Now, when I was on stage, I was interacting with the entire audience, and you might have an audience of of, of dozens or hundreds or thousands, but it was all about interacting with with the crowd, right? When we're doing virtual, you don't see any of that. You don't get any feedback. So I have fallen back on what I heard an old uh, radio producer say. He said, when you're doing a radio show, the number one person, the most important person is the producer because the radio host is interacting with the producer, right? Like that's your audience. You might have hundreds or thousands or millions of people listening to you, but they're really listening to a conversation between the radio host and, and the producer. So I feel like as a, as a virtual presenter, we need to visualize one person, just one person, and that's who we are having this, this mental conversation with. And then everybody that's tuning in is just watching that. And if you can visualize that one person that you're talking to, uh, I think that makes a world of difference.